Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So, you know, Winston Churchill has this quote and um, I'm going to read it for you. It's a pretty short quote, pretty good quote, but basically it says fear is a reaction and courage is a decision. So fear is a reaction and courage is a decision. And so I was looking at that quote and thinking about you know, thinking about how a lot of us live our lives, right? Are we reacting to things that are happening? Are we always reacting to things that are happening? Or are we positioning ourselves and putting ourselves in a position, in a situation where, or in a position where we're able to make decisions and so that we don't always have to feel like we're reacting. When I think of reaction, when I think of fear as a reaction, I think of one, I think of people who find it really difficult to try something new, to do something new. You know, sometimes you might hear someone say, well, well I don't want to, I don't want to go to college because that's so hard because it's so long, you know, it's, it's, it's going to take so long for me to do that. Or I don't want to do some kind of training program because it's going to be so hard and it's going to take so long for me to be able to be able to accomplish that. Uh, or someone not wanting to learn something. Well, well, math, mathematics is so hard. Like I'm not going to be able to learn it, right? It's so hard. Or computer science is so hard, right? Just kind of reacting. And a lot of times, if you think about that, it's because someone's reacting to what they've heard. A lot of times, the people who are saying that, they're, they're reacting to what they've heard. So you heard that something is so difficult so now you are also starting to perceive it as being difficult. And so your natural reaction going into it is going to be, well, oh my geez, I've heard it's so hard. Now it might be difficult, don't get me wrong, it might be something that is difficult. And for some people, they're just not, for example, a lover of science or you know math or anything like that. So they're not going to you know, get off on mathematics. But when you have the perception going into something even before you've gotten there that it's just going to be so difficult for you to be able to conquer it that alone sets up a mental barrier that can make it even twice as difficult for you to actually be able to accomplish it so when i'm when i when i think of what he said fear as fear is a reaction that i got, I got to thinking about stuff like that the other thing is I feel like a lot of times one of the reasons why, you know, we find ourselves trapped in situations is because we we get so used to getting by, we get so used to reacting to things when they happen, whether they're financial or otherwise, but we never really have the courage to make the decision to get out of the situation that we're in. So let me give you an example. I could use myself. So, you know, Growing up not having really anything, growing up poor, right? We were always reacting to stuff. It's like bills were always coming. There was there's always something happening that we had to react. And what I saw from a young age and what I realized is I don't want to live like this. And that's what I think of reaction. the whole reaction thing is. It's like I am now like programmed to live a certain way and I'm always hustling and bustling and, and 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 I could never enjoy life because I'm constantly engaged in reaction right if that makes sense so I'm constantly engaged in reaction because I've never made the decisions that will take me away from simply just reacting but actually being proactive so that I don't have to react to life the same way and so I think a lot of people are in a lot of people who are in a certain financial sense now don't get me wrong i know that everybody has their own struggles people go through their own stuff as i've said i have been there uh, i know what it's like to have those eviction notices uh, on my door i have spent some time sleeping in my car i mean i i, I know i've slept on my friend's floor in his one bedroom apartment before like I know what it's like to be in that situation where you just feel like you're constantly reacting because there's always this bill or that bill or, or whatever the case is there's all that's that's always going on but then I made a conscious a conscious decision that 
I did not want to live my life simply having to react to the things that are happening around me, but more, you know, being able to control to a great extent the things that are in my space, in my environment. I wanted to have more control. And if I wanted to have more control, it goes to the quote from Winston Churchill, which is, courage is a decision. So now at some point, you have to have the courage to be able to make the decisions necessary to take your life where you want your life to go. It is never going to be pretty. You know, I, one of the reasons why there is that fear as well is because a lot of times we think of all the things that we might have to do and all the different ways we might have to do these things and all the challenges that you probably have to go through for you to overcome, get past, get by, get through whatever situation it is that's going on in your life, whether it's financial or relationship wise or whatever. And it takes a lot of courage. And that's why Winston Churchill says, well, courage, you know, it's a decision. So you have to make that decision now to be courageous enough to be able to push yourself beyond your familia, right? To be able to push yourself beyond your familia. And what makes that, again, difficult for some people is even though I, I've come to realize, even though some people are uncomfortable with the familiar uh, and they maybe they're content in terms of they know how to squeak by and how to get by or whatever the case is, but they're not happy. The whole unknown, right? The ch uncharted territory that they have never taken prevents presents this an extreme fear for a lot of people, right? That uncharted territory that they have never dared to actually say, I'm, I'm going to venture off into that uncharted territory. They've never dared to do that. And so they are so scared by the unknown, even though the unknown possesses a lot of opportunities, right? There is so much possibility in what might seem as the impossible if we dare to actually venture off into the unknown, into that stuff that we have been trying to stay away from because we don't know what to expect. So a lot of people will stay away from the unknown, even though it could present so many opportunities for them to get out of the situation where, that they're in and prefer to maybe not prefer always, but find themselves somewhat chained to the known, right? Because it's the familiar. So they're chained to the known, to the known circumstances, to the known debt, to the known person that doesn't make you happy, but you still find yourself somewhat chained to the known because you know that, you know that person, you know that situation, you know those circumstances. And th therefore, you spend your entire life just constantly reacting to situations and never actually having full control because you've never been willing to move into uncharted territory, you know, into the unknown. And so it takes a lot of courage, a lot of determination and a lot of mental fortitude as well to be able to see yourself moving beyond your circumstances and wanting better for yourself. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people are successful and a lot of people are not, is because a lot of people have the courage to make the decisions that are necessary to move beyond their familiar, to get beyond their known. So what is gonna cause you, you've gotta ask yourself, to move beyond your financial situation that you don't like? right? Or to move beyond that relationship that doesn't make you happy, to be able to make that tough decision that you deserve better, whether it's financially or relationship wise, right? Instead of being just reacting to someone who treats you bad and trying to figure out how to make nice with them from time to time, or trying to decide, trying to figure out how to, you know, slice a dollar into 10 pieces or whatever the case is, when life can be better if you just allow yourself to just move beyond what you know and explore the possibilities of what is available in the unknown. So fear is a reaction, courage is, courage is a decision, and you have to be able to make the tough decision, the tough decisions that are going to help to push you 
beyond where you are. And it might mean cutting some people out of your life. It might be mean get, being really strict financially. It might mean working two jobs for now so that you could amass a certain amount of money to start the business you always wanted to start or to go back to school and get the certificate or the degree or whatever uh, training certificate that you need to have so that you could move beyond your circumstances. It's going to be tough, but you've got to make a decision if you're going to ever, ever move beyond your known circumstances. You have to move. You have to make that decision and you've got to make that decision today. You can't keep putting it back and keep saying, I'm going to do it next month. Or I'm going to do it next year because the longer you wait is the less life that you have to enjoy what is possible for you. So please leave in your comments. Let me know what you think. What obstacles have you had to push past? What are some of the fears that you had to overcome to really enjoy the successes that you have now, that you have now, or the successes that you're on your way to achieving. So leave that in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Please don't forget to hit the post uh, notification bell because I post every single day, and so you'll be able to keep up with my post. Also, you can leave suggestions and videos that you want me to make. Don't forget to share and like because those two things really do help the channel grow. So I'll really appreciate it if you do that. Till next time, make the tough decision, do, do what's necessary and do what is right for you to be happy. Peace.